Welcome. So what we have here is y equals cotangent of x divided by 2. And what I want to show you how to do is graph this function. So when graphing cotangent, um, first thing we need to do is you know, kind of understand what the first the cotangent graph looks like. So if I was just going to kind of graph what we call like initial period, the cotangent graph has a vertical asymptote at 0 and also a vertical asymptote at pi. It has a x-intercept, there's not a point there, x-intercept at pi halves. And then the graph is going to kind of approach both your asymptotes in that format. So that's kind of like initial form. That's what kind of the parent graph of um, an initial period of cotangent. Now remember, it is cyclical, so it does repeat itself on and on. This point is at pi. OK, so what we have is we have a little bit of a uh, transformation here. And we need to understand what's going to be actually happening to our cotangent graph. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our important elements. The first thing we want to do is determine what the period is. Now the period for the cotangent and tangent graph is going to be pi divided by b. Remember, b is going to be your coefficient of your x value within your function. So therefore, I have pi divided by 1 half. Now to simplify that, I multiply by the reciprocal, and I get 2 pi. So therefore, now rather than my period being at pi, my initial period is now going to be at 2 pi. Now we notice that on the initial period, I kind of have a start and an end at 0 and pi. But I want to be able to determine what is going to be my new initial period. So to find our initial point, what we kind of say is we say our start and our end. Where is our initial period going to start and end? So what we do is we take what's inside the function and we set that equal to 0. So to do that now, I'm going to have x divided by 2 equals 0. And then we have x divided by 2. For the end, we're going to set it to our original initial period of pi. All right, now by solving for x, multiply by 2 on both sides, and I get x equals 0. Multiply by 2 on both sides, and I get x equals 2 pi. So therefore, I, have, I am now going to graph between 0 and 2 pi, which we notice, which is correct, um, period is now 2 pi. Now the next thing is we want to find our critical points. Now when I'm graphing the cotangent graph, just to kind of make these videos a little bit shorter, I'm only going to deal with two critical points. So to find our critical points, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take our period of our graph and divide it by 2. So I'm going to take 2 pi divided by 2, which is just going to yield us with pi. Now the reason why we want to find our critical points, because the critical points for the cotangent and tangent graph are going to be your asymptotes and your x-intercepts. So that's why we want to keep on dividing by 2, because then what we'll notice is at every interval of pi, we're going to have a critical point. So in graphing the cotangent graph, all right, we still have our, x, or our y axis, which is at when x equals 0. All right. But we know our next critical point is going to be at pi. The next critical point is at 2 pi. Then we have 3 pi, 4 pi. And we can also go in the negative direction. Negative pi, negative 2 pi, negative 3 pi. All right. Now, we haven't changed anything. Our start is still going to be our asymptote. So we're going to have a vertical asymptote at 0. And our end, we're also going to have a vertical asymptote, which is going to be at 2 pi. Then our next critical point, like I said, remember critical point is either going to be our asymptote or our intercept. So therefore, our 0 or x-intercept is going to be um, at pi. Therefore, now by approaching both my asymptotes, I'm just going to estimate the curve of the graph. I'm not going to get exact, but I'm just going to estimate the curve of the graph in this direction. Then what we notice is my next critical point will be 0. Next one will be a horizontal asymptote. So you can see now. Here will be an intercept, asymptote, how these graphs are going to keep on working. Okay. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph the cotangent graph. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.